Hell's Kitchen has become iconic for the constant mistakes from chefs to the point where it's hard to believe these contestants actually do in fact make their living as a pro chef. But hey, it is Hell's Kitchen. The stress and insane pacing of Gordon Ramsay's kitchen can cause even the best chefs to make mistakes. However, sometimes the amount of mistakes during a service really start to add up and a chef goes from simply having an off night to literally having one of the worst services in the show's history. What's going on guys? I'm Flynn Masters and today we'll be taking a look at the worst individual services in Hell's Kitchen history. Remember, this is just one service. So while someone like Colleen is an all around terrible chef who made a multitude of mistakes. She didn't necessarily have an all-time terrible service per se that would warrant her spot on the list. With that cleared up, before we begin, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button for more unique Hell's Kitchen content such as this. And with that said, let's take a look at the worst of the worst when it comes to terrible Hell's Kitchen services. Bloody hell, here I go again. The first time a chef ever got ejected during a service, believe it or not, comes from a black jacket service. Josh is often considered the worst chef to ever make the black jackets. And one could argue his performance at the final five of season three single-handedly caused bigger casts for Hell's Kitchen to keep chefs like Josh from BSing their way to the prestigious black jackets. At the first black jacket service of season three, Josh was eager to get off to a good start. Unfortunately, he was a little bit too eager. Uh, okay, he was insanely overeager. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why is the risotto on? We're having got one away. How long's that been on there for? That's been on there for four minutes. These were on there earlier. They're going away. But how many are you doing? Look at all those pans. Yes, yeah, chef. What's going on? Let me just tell you something. We've opened. We haven't served anything yet, and we've lost money. What's in that basket? This is the one that pulled. Why? Sorry, just no. talk to me. Why? 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 Starting new. Starting new. Uh, in your restaurant before we come here, do you cook spaghetti before the customer orders it? Never, chef. So why are you doing it here? What the f is he doing? What? More spaghetti in there. I'm sorry. We cook spaghetti to order. Yes, yeah, chef. He's on the cook chef. Sorry? And the cook chef. Oh, my god almighty. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, chef. Take that off and get the hell of it. Get out! Get out! Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Give me the jacket. Give me, Give me the jacket. You used to suck a sh. Get out! Get out! This list is mostly all consisting of terrible chefs or chefs who had extreme meltdowns and got kicked out of Hell's Kitchen that same night. But at number six comes from a chef who actually stayed despite producing an all time bad dinner service. Clemenza started off season 10 really well, but that all came crashing down big time in episode seven. This episode actually started off on a cliffhanger after Clemenza for some reason cooked four portions of scallops before the restaurant had even opened. Stop, Clemenza. Yes, chef. What are you doing? Nothing gets sent until the first catwalk. Clemenza, talk to me. I made a mistake, chef. It won't happen oh, again. How many portions of scallops were we wasted? Four. Fucking hell. Then, after an all round miserable night for Clemenza, he once again wasted food as Ramsey found a tray of leftover swordfish. Clemenza, come here, you. What the f have you done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Clemenza. I called for you all day, it was 18 and I did four more. There's not four more, there's 11 more. Go on, here we go. You love that bit, don't you? No. Oh, tell you what, you hold it up, you put them in. Oh my God. Clemenza would thankfully be saved due to his all time great nomination speech, but this is arguably the worst service from someone who survived elimination. And Clemenza should thank his lucky stars that Ramsey didn't just send him home during service after his constant mess ups. Overcooked and rubber. Start again. Clemenza, you're holding us up. You got six scallop going. There's no other room to get out another two. Unless you want me to f put two pans on my ass and f start cooking back there, you're gonna have to wait. 
I say we continue the trend of bad services from old school chefs whose name starts with J. In season five, J, yes, that was the name he went by, started off relatively well. And in a season that features chefs like Lacey, Colleen, and Will, it's hard to believe that Jay would be the one to stand out as to having the worst individual service, but that's indeed what happened. At the final 10 of season five, Jay was already starting to skid a bit, so this service was pivotal for him. But things didn't get off to a great start when he wasted not just the blue team's rice, but the red team's rice as well before service even got underway and probably already feeling like he was done for. Jay continued to make mistake after mistake on the fish station that night, leading him to become an obscure second ejection in HK history, as Gordon Ramsay simply couldn't take it anymore. Who took this rice? I did, Chef. Look at it, Jay! How can you do that, Jay? Jay! Look, touch that. It's rubber, Chef. To oh my god! Unbelievable! No, 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 no! No! Get out! Out, out, out! Get out! Out! Get out! Get your jacket off and f off! I guess I don't belong here, so I'll be going home. When it comes to forgotten bad chefs, I think people forget just how poorly Tavon performed in season 10. His struggles were made even worse due to the fact that he bolstered about being an executive chef at 22. Well, after the season 10 premiere service, I wonder if he got sent back down to the minor leagues of the kitchen. Tavon sent up raw pigeon, messed up an entire supply of scallops, and proceeded to laugh it off like it was nothing, getting him kicked out and sent home on night one. And yeah, safe to say, Chef Ramsay didn't let Tavon forget about his executive chef status. Hey, 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 all of you, stop. Look, this pigeon's that raw, it can still fly. Touch it. Are you serious that you're an executive chef? You're yeah, a... chef. I actually yeah. am. Yes. Executive chef. Come here. Look at these. Expensive hand dive scallops. Look. You sabotaged them. You sliced all them. We haven't even served one table. I guess I froze, I mean. You froze? What else, what else do you want me to say? You haven't even defrosted. <laughs> you think it's funny? All those customers, do me a favor. Yeah. Up upstairs. Get out. Tavon may be an executive chef at 22, but he did little to impress me in his short stay in Hell's Kitchen. Louis made quite the impression during his short stay in Hell's Kitchen season six, as he immediately got his ego put in the check when it came to his signature dish. In his dinner service, man, was it something. Not only did he have the usual mess ups, but Louis decided to make garnish despite being on the meat station. You're on the garnish. Yes. Louis on the meat. Yes. He's cooking the spinach. Why? I don't know why. I, I thought I had to put it all together, Chef. What's your station? I'm doing lamb and, and rack of lamb and chicken. So why are you cooking the spinach? I thought it went on a plate, sir. Then again, after seeing what Louis did to the meat, maybe there's a reason why he thought making garnishes would be the better option. What's all that lamb here? Look at this. Look at this. Look. 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 What the f is this? Get out. Hey. Get upstairs, get your backpack. Can I help? Can I help in yeah, the kitchen? you can help me. Get out! Yep, cooking the wrong food, wasting an insane portion of meat, causing Ramsay's voice to crack, and getting kicked out before the night one service even ends. Oh well, at least Louis has his diner to go back to. No, actually, I, got, I own a diner. Okay, and how much do you charge for that? 475. 475. Yeah, with coffee. It's only fitting that this man would be on the list. Arguably the worst chef in Hell's Kitchen history, but you can't deny he is the most entertaining. And that man is of course Raj. We all know that Raj to this day is a living meme due to his time on the show, with the Raj moments on Hell's Kitchen's official YouTube page stacking up over 12 million views. And a good part of that compilation comes from the third service of the season. As boy, it is bad, but extremely entertaining. Oh dear, Raj! What's that? What is that stock he's putting in that salmon? Ah. No sauce, bro. Oh, dear. Raj! Come here, you. It's raw. It's raw! It's real. Okay. Would you mind if I said something, Chef, or no? Not to me, you know. No, don't say a damn thing. Just finish your if, tickets. You know the, the salmon I gave you that you smashed, right? 
I'm going to try to make a case for myself. Really, Chef, really, I, I, all the, all the... We're in the middle of service right now, and I want food. Shut it! But, um, it's, it's hard. None of them are going to waste. I see all this food, and it looks delicious, so I just, you know, ate it. Raj, please don't do that. Look at his eating, look. I mean, I just a quick little bite. It's really tasty. How could Chef Ramsay blame me for eating this delicious food? It's fantastic. So special! Chef, we ran out of the so special. What? I've got three on order! Get out there and tell them you're dragging two. And you go to the customers and tell them you f***ed it up. Get out there! I can't put this I, in. Uh, I can't. Sorry, sir. I can't. I can't. Put it down and get out there! Raj made mistake after mistake all night, ate the food while on the station, ran out of the Soul Special, and even made Chef Ramsay and sous chef Scott lose their cool. This all led to Raj getting sent home from the winning team, but to this day, he holds a special place in the hearts of HK fans everywhere. So maybe it's not so bad for the big guy. My God, look at this. I'm a star. They call this service the mother of all meltdowns, a service so bad that it got the chef kicked out despite doing super well the entire season. If you're a fan of Hell's Kitchen, you know what number one is, and that is Nelka's service at the final seven of season seven. This service was insanely hyped all season, and boy, did it deliver. To this day, I wonder what caused Nelka to screw up so badly. Was it the pressure of the black jackets coming soon, or was it simply the overall grind of Hell's Kitchen that finally caught up to her? No matter what caused this downfall, it's a pretty spectacular fall from grace, as Nilko went from a pretty much guaranteed lock to make it to the Black Jackets, to not even making it to the elimination ceremony, in what's easily the worst single dinner service performance in Hell's Kitchen history. That's raw, Nilko, it's raw. I gave her the piece of fish to put back in the pan. Talk about give it up. This is not possible. Lobster's coming now. This is what you bring me. Don't touch it, it's piping hot. Taste it, come on. Oh, the wrong Come here, you a minute. Why can't you come back? I'm so mad at myself right now because I know I can do it. Look at this. Look, it's raw. Now, car. Yes, chef. The lobster is raw. Uh, Put it down. I'm... Look at me. Look at me. Out. Get out. Now, car. Get out! I'm going! Madam! Madam! Yes, sir! Take your jacket off and f off! Oh, chef, don't say that, please! Chef, please! Chef, please don't say that! Oh, my God! Poor Nelka. She really was great all season. But man, there will simply never be a bigger collapse of a chef during service. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a part two to this video. And don't be afraid to mention some other all-time bad individual services down below as well. If you like this video, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button for more fun Hell's Kitchen content like this. With all that said, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.